Good morning, boys. Today we're going to be looking at magnifying glasses. A magnifying glass makes objects appear larger. These tools help us to see details on small things. Here is an example of a bug being looked at through a magnifying glass. Good morning, boys. So let's get started with the art now. We are going to be doing a magnifying glass looking at a bug in the garden. This is my example so you have an idea of what we're going to do today. Okay, so I've done my background like this, um, lots of different greens in it. You can do it however you'd like. And I'm going to stick flowers on. And I've decided that I would like my flowers to be like this. You can do your flowers straight on the background. I would just like to see some flowers and some greenery in the background. And I'd like to see the whole background covered. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make my flowers like this. So what I've done is I've done a circle of color and I've just drawn um, a flower in the middle. And then I'll stick on my flowers and then we'll move on. Right, I've now done my flowers and I've cut them out and I've put them on the paper. So a very, very good thing to do when you've done this and you want to stick something onto your artwork is to place them down before you stick them. Um, just so you can see what it looks like, you can move things around that way. And then once you're happy with how it looks, then you can stick them. So I'm going to stick down these flowers and then I'm going to start with my bug. Time to draw your bug. You can choose any of these bugs to draw or you can choose one from the internet. These ones are more realistic and might be a bit tricky, while these ones are more fun and cartoon-like. You can choose either. The next thing we're going to do is draw our bug. So you can choose whichever bug you want. I have done this cartoon ladybug. Um, there are some examples in the general folder for you to choose from. And now, once I've done this, I need to draw my magnifying glass around the bug and colour it in. Next step, draw your magnifying glass. Okay, so this is my bug and I have now drawn my magnifying glass. So remember a magnifying glass is a circle and then you're going to have to add a handle in as well. Sorry for this, I'm just using up my scrap paper so I don't waste anything. Now, we've got our bug here. I'm going to cut out around the edge of the magnifying glass and I want to stick him on here, in this area here. So I'm going to do that quickly and then I will show you the end result. Cut around the outside edge of the magnifying glass. Here we go. So this is my bug in the magnifying glass and I haven't stuck it down yet. Remember what I said, place it before you stick it down just so it's exactly where you want it to be. And so you don't have to tear it off and rip it when you um, are not happy or if you're not happy. So this is what we're gonna do. Um, I can now stick down my magnifying glass. So. Because the background is green, I will actually also paint in here green as well. I do like the effect of it being white. You can actually paint it for this exercise, whatever color or color it in whatever color you'd like. If you prefer it like this, that's also OK. So I'm going to do that quickly. This is what it looks like. And I will show you the final product as soon as I'm done. OK, so this is our final piece. Boys, I hope you really enjoyed this. I had a lot of fun doing it. Um, you can do your background however you'd like, as long as it looks like a garden. So I stuck my flowers on, but obviously you can just draw your flowers on and color them in. Um, I chose this bug and you can do a more realistic bug or you can do a cartoon bug if you would like as well. And then just with the magnifying glass, I painted in this direction just to make the bug stand out a little bit more. Um, but as long as you do a solid color in here, I'm absolutely happy. Thank you so much, boys. I hope you have a wonderful day and enjoy the lesson.